you doing, my dear friends? Great to see you. It's Dan. I'm live. Live right now. I'm living for another day or so uh, in beautiful Oak Lawn, Illinois. Oh, what a garden spot this is. Uh, great to see you. Hey, um, long time ago, my brother Cam and I had just finished shoveling the driveway at our house. Boy, we were glad to have that. Oh, <laughs> glad to have that job over so we could get back to more important things like watching five or six hours of television. We were teenagers. Again, this is long, long ago, back when I was a teenager, back in the late 1800s. Obviously, we did not like shoveling. Who likes? Nobody likes to shovel snow. Nobody likes that. And so we were so glad to be done, finish that job. We're back in the house starting to take, you know, our our snowy, snow-covered clothes off. And my mom comes walking up and she says, um, why don't you boys go over and shovel Mr. Smith's driveway for him? And we said, what? what? Mr. Smith, that's not his real name. He, he was our neighbor. He was an elderly man, just him and his wife. Uh, they had one daughter. She was grown up. She was out of the house. She wasn't there anymore. Go shovel Mr. Smith's driveway, my mom said. She, uh, she added, Mrs. Smith is in the hospital. He needs to get to the hospital. He doesn't have time to be shoveling. His, you, he's an old man. You boys can do that for him. That would be a nice thing to do. Go, go shovel his... <sighs> so... Cam and I <laughs> grumbled a little bit, I think, but but we went over there and we found ourselves shoveling yet another snow-filled driveway. He had a pretty good-sized driveway, too. So we we're shoveling up. Just about the time we're finished with this job, Mr. Smith comes out of his house, and he's walking toward us, and he's got this kind of shocked look on his face, and he's like, Oh my goodness, Cameron and Danny, what 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 have you done? Oh my, thank you so much. I I can't believe you shoveled this driveway for me. Oh, thank you. That, that that's so nice. Thank you, boys. Thank. And he starts to take his wallet out of his pocket and he's pulling some bills out. Here, boys. Here, thank you. And Cam said, No, no, Mr. Smith, no. You you, you don't have to pay us. You don't have to. It's all right. We're glad to help. And and uh, it, it's. You know, it's not necessary, he said to him. And I, and I said, if it brings the man some joy to give us money, don't rob him of that. No, I didn't say <laughs> Just kidding. I, I probably thought that, but I didn't say that. <laughs> Mr. Smith, he, he had, like, he's got tears in his eyes. He's crying. The man is he, You're such good boys, he said. Oh, you're so, thank you so much. Thank you for, I got to get to the hospital. Thank you so much for helping me. It's okay, Mr. Smith, we told him. It's okay. We're glad to help. This is one of those experiences in my life. It happened long, long, long ago, but it's one of those experiences that's sort of gotten permanently seared into my memory. When we went home, I felt good. Like, I didn't like shoveling stuff, but I felt good. I felt good. I, this was one of those experiences, it like early in life kind of experience that helped me realize something. I realized that it's a good thing to, uh, to serve others. It's good. Like, this experience it was, it helped me realize that helping people who are in need, serving people who need help, God wants me to do that. I realize that. God wants all of us to do that, doesn't he? Life in God's kingdom. Jesus often talked about light. What is life in God's kingdom like? Life in God's kingdom involves serving others. <laughs> 